Hi, I'm Wendy, and this is Wendy Drinks Gin. Cheers! Hi, and welcome to Wendy Drinks Gin. I'm back outside today in the garden, and today I'm still working my way down the floral section. Um, today's selection is J.J. Whitley Elderflower. Big name for a gin. It's garnished with grapefruit, juniper berries, and some rosemary. It, this one smells very floral. In fact, worrisomely so. Like, it smells like perfume. I taste elderflower, I taste gin. It's very smooth, it's a little sweet, not too sweet, a little sweet. I think this would be a nice, perfect um, sipping gin on its own, but it probably will pair very nice with the elderflower. So let me tell you a little bit about it. Inspired by the British countryside, soft scents of juniper with a fresh and floral bouquet with the elderflower. Um, I personally don't know what elderflower smells like or tastes like for that matter other than trying the elderflower tonic but this gin smells lovely and I guess it smells like elderflower. I was afraid because it is very floral and it does smell like perfume. The last one I tried like that tasted like perfume so I was worried that this one would but this one just has a really nice flavor. So, let me add some tonic. Again, this is elderflower tonic, which is very nice tonic anyway. So I'm assuming this is just going to enhance the elderflower flavor since we're adding elderflower tonic. This is a really nice drink. Again, this gin, I would say, would be perfect for sipping on ice or mixed with elderflower or probably even just for a regular tonic because the flavor is, is very nice by itself. But the elderflower is nice in there. It's, um, I think this of most gin and tonics, it's just a very light, refreshing drink. Um, I always think of it, and maybe that's why I like to sit outside in the garden. I think of it as a, a sit outside in the garden kind of drink. Um, with friends, by yourself, with a meal. I think it pairs, would pair nicely with just about anything. So, I encourage you to try this one. Um, I think, too, um, you should do the, the trick that they taught me here. Always try the gin neat a little bit first so you can taste the gin, what it's like. I've had some instances where adding the tonic actually took away from the gin and I think they're better sippers. This one, I think could go either way. It's a perfectly great flavorful drink for sipping on its own or with the mixer. So. I do recommend this drink, and I hope you'll give it a try. This is Wendy, and today I'm drinking gin in the garden. Cheers.